A lot of people are going to be looking to score a buck hopefully this year with the buck score program and I was fortunate enough to be able to harvest this really great Pennsylvania buck with my bow yesterday. One of the big things to, to really think about as you're going to be taking these pictures for your hero shots is what angles you're going to be holding the deer. Now not every picture you're going to be looking to score but if you want to be able to score your deer with buck score there's a few specific angles and things to keep in mind. First off you really want to be able to keep your deer at a 0, a 45, or a 90. Those are the three angles that are going to be the best for scoring your deer and give you the best vantage point of actually having all of those characteristics of the deer in it. As always with any picture that you score with buck score, the facial feature or the reference feature is really important. So if you're going to look at this deer, if you have that ear tucked behind or that ear is pointed down, you're not going to have a really good opportunity to score it you may have to actually nudge that deer from behind to get that ear to show, or you're gonna be forced to use the distance between the eyes or the eyeball itself. And any harvested deer, that eye is gonna to start to close and go away. So you wanna to try to make sure that it's very clear and apparent when you get that picture taken so that you're able to make that accurate reference feature measurement from the start. Lastly, we tend to actually wanna hold a deer up or down or even crook it a little bit. These are all gonna affect the measurements of that deer in the buck score program. So try to keep that deer parallel as if it was still alive and how it would be holding its head. That's really gonna ensure that you get an accurate score on your harvested buck this season.